Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, back to Trailmakers campaign mode, and we are moving on to something new today because we've done pretty much all of the volcano area, minus potentially one thing based off of your comments. And I think we're going to move over to this area over here, which I think is the marshlands, the muddy area. Now, if this is your first time tuning into the campaign, you're definitely going to want to check out those campaign playlists and work your way up to here. I'll leave a link down in the description. So before we go over to this area, yeah, I can already see some bigger pieces of scrap over there. Before we go over to this area, though, I saw some of the comments saying that I missed a piece in the volcano area that is inside of like a cave. So let's hop into our drone, which I actually can just transform into. There we are. And let me see what this area is all about. Well, let me just get grab that piece of gold first. There we go. Got an extra 100 gold. And it looks like we got a cave over here. All right, I wish I was a little bit better at flying. Oh boy, this is gonna be, I should probably just use a water vehicle, but I'm gonna use this instead. All right, we can do this. We can do this, oh boy. We got this. Am I gonna have to, I'm gonna have to transport something out of here and I, I'm probably gonna have to go to a water vehicle. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to go to a water vehicle. Do I have a water vehicle in my transformation list? That is not the water vehicle. There we go, here's our sub. Oh, okay, here we go. Wait, is there even a piece under, wait, let me look at the map. What, I don't even see a piece anywhere. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. This cave, oh, that is so interesting. Okay, I didn't even notice that the cave curves. I thought we were at the end here. This is a really, really long entranceway into this volcano. Yeah, we're going, oh, here we go. Ooh, a propeller, hmm. I was gonna build a drone. The propeller might be good for like a, a agile drone. Oh, here we go. I guess we're gonna have to go under then. Where am I, how am I gonna take this thing though? I gotta take it somewhere. Hopefully this sub is strong enough to take this. All right. There we go, propeller. And can we float back up? I have a feeling this is gonna be very, very difficult to bring back with this particular vehicle. Yeah, look at <laughs> This vehicle is not designed for uh, a front load like this. So you know what? I'm gonna change this to bring it on the back. Cause I think putting it on the back side is actually gonna make me be able to go forward. But the question is, can I control myself to back up into it? There we go. All right, and let's go ahead and back up. Back up to the surface. <laughs> oh boy. And can I float on the surface? Come on. All right, it's kind of working. Okay, there we go. It works. It works. <laughs> All right, I'm glad the solution was relatively easy. I didn't have to rebuild an entire new creation just for this one piece of salvage. All right, so obviously uh, cr carrying heavy salvage is much easier in the water on the submarine if it, you uh, carry it on your back and not your front, which makes sense. So I'm probably going to just take this thing over to the marshes then and uh, drop this off at a new checkpoint. All right, so the challenging part is I need to get this thing onto land so I can transfer over to a, a ground-based vehicle. Oh, is this gonna be shallow enough? I think this might be shallow enough. Let's transition over to this thing. Go ahead and activate, go ahead and activate this. Come on, come on. Oh no, my engines are underwater. I can't. Oh man, this is actually going to be kind of difficult to get this out of here, I think. Let's see if we can pull it off though. Come on, come on, back up, back up, back up. You can do this. I have no grip or traction here either. Look at this, oh no. I literally have no grip. I need better wheels. All right, what if we drop it? Don't slide down, please. I'm gonna, I can't go anywhere. What is wrong with it? Is it because of these engines? Or are they touching the ground? All right, here we go. This is working. I can use my thrust a little bit. Now, where am I going? Here, oh, there we go. Oh no, there's a moat. There's a moat around this one. Are you kidding me? How deep is this? Can I get through here? All right, I'm trying to boost myself. Go, 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 go. <laughs> Dang it, wait, wait, wait. I might be able to go over here and repair myself. Maybe we can attract it enough. Yes. 
But now I gotta turn around so I can use my thrust, which is not working very well. There we go. We're onto something. Don't tip over. Don't tip over. There we are, and I'll just push this thing while I'm at it. Woo! All right, we got the propeller, and what was another thing we just picked up? Another power core, excellent. I still don't even have anything other than bulldog engines. All right, let's see what kind of parts we have around us now. Two by two by two block, rounded corner, rounded inverted, paddle, rounded corner, ra a lot of rounded blocks in this area. So I'm gonna use this drone to do some scouting, but I need to make some modifications to it because I've been feeling some awkward wind resistance, I think. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna fly over this area. Maybe I'll even unlock that checkpoint over there. Yeah, I'll probably do that. Let's go unlock this checkpoint as well so we can teleport freely between these different areas. And hopefully... Uh, is this how close do I need to get? Closer than this, apparently. And there we go. All right, what pieces do we have around here? More rounded. Monster truck wheel. That's a priority. Monster truck wheel will be great for this area. Armored seat. Ooh, monster truck wheel, wheel and armored seat. And a dragon engine. Okay, this is a good area. Let's go check out this area over here now. What is this big piece over here? All right, so this piece is a small cannon. Okay. And then we got another power core over here. And it looks like a little bit more marshlands up behind us. I see something over here. What's this one going to be? Another power core? A large pontoon. I don't know if we really have that much use for a large pontoon. All right, and anything left in this general area? You know what? I'm actually going to get this teleport point over here real quick, just to make traveling easier. Ooh, what is this? What is that? Truck wheel, yes! Yes, and motorcycle wheel. All right. I, I might want to just do this truck wheel really quick, too. The truck wheel, I think, is actually better, more valuable than the uh, monster truck wheel. And it's going to be super easy to get as well. I'm just going to land on top of here. Uh, just like that. Transform into this thing. And then we can just push it right off. Wee! Ow. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Truck wheel. Now we can finally build a much more effective ground-based vehicle. What was this one? Motorcycle wheel? Eh, I don't really need a motorcycle wheel. Power core. Oh, I didn't go to this whole area down here. Let's go uncover that while we're at it. Man, look at these. Some of these trees are huge. All right, what do we got over here? More rounded blocks. Man, this is just a whole area of rounded corners. Oh, here's a big piece. What's this one? Spiked wheel. Okay. Spiked wheel would be good for this type of area if we still want to keep a low profile on our vehicle. Okay, we have officially uncovered the entirety of the Mercs, I guess it's called. And it looks like it is heavily focused on rounded blocks. But then we also got the monster truck wheel and the armored seat and stuff over here. So let's go ahead and teleport over here to where these things are. Okay, so I'm gonna take some advice from you guys in the comments to build this next vehicle here. I'm gonna make a I'm gonna make a land vehicle that pulls rather than pushes parts. I'm gonna be using the new truck wheels to help me in this area. Okay, so I know this thing might not look like much, but uh, hopefully it'll get the job done. I realize again that I only have bulldog engines, so I got two dragon engines to hopefully help me with some um, pulling power and stuff. But I guess after the monster truck wheel, we'll go over and get the dragon engine out of the water if we can, hopefully. So let's see. Oh, nope, that's pushing. My bad. My bad. Let's do some pulling here. There we go. Got some pulling power. We could use our jet engines. And I put a bumper on the front just in case I wanted to push against things. So it seems like these wheels are at least better over here. I don't know if we're going to need the monster truck wheels, to be honest. But let's see. How are we going to get this piece down there? I think for this, we're probably just going to have to use our submarine, maybe. So let's hope that we'll be able to at least pull it out of the water. I think that's going to be the big thing, is getting this thing out of the water. Because this is going to be a huge improvement, I think, to our uh, vehicle that we just built, actually. Go backwards at it. Come on. Come on. There we go. Oh, that is terribly off-center. You know what? Let's just drop it off on the bottom there. There we go. This is going to be much easier to back up into it on the bottom, I think. All right. That looks a little bit better. All right. Increase our buoyancy. Wow. 
Now let's see if we can get ourselves over. I'm gonna try to back up out of the water. And then we're gonna switch over to our like monster truck type thing that we just built. All right, oh, look at that. That is good. Drop that off. All right, so now this is gonna be the tough part. All right, can I bring my vehicle back over here? Yes, I can. All right, I don't know if I'm gonna have enough grip or torque to get out of here with these, <laughs> with these bulldog engines, but hopefully the thrust, oh yeah, the thrusters are doing it all for me. There we go, perfect. And now we can replace some of these engines with these dragon engines and see just how much better we are. Okay, so for, for comparison, here is my acceleration and my speed <laughs> without the dragon engines. So now I'm gonna replace every bulldog engine with as many dragon engines as we can. I only had four bulldog engines on there and this thing's worth three power cores. Yep, that's all I have room for. Is this a power core? The cannon was three power cores. Why did I even bother with that? Well, that means I can put another dragon engine on here. And then I have room for one more bulldog engine. All right, now let's see how we do. You know what? Not not that much better. Not a whole lot better, but we have a functional vehicle that has grip on this terrain, so let's go with it. Why does it say that there's a piece literally right in front of me? What? Oh, there it is. It's literally right in front of me. That's why. Okay, so now part of me is wanting to be able to pick up more than one piece here for some efficiency. So I'm wondering if I can make like a bed and move some of these engines out of the way. Okay, here we go. Now, I have absolutely no idea if this is gonna work, but uh, I can't wait to try it. Let's see what happens. All right, so we go ahead and back on up. Go ahead and press shift. Um, um, let's try this angle. Oh boy, that should do it. That should definitely do it. And there we go. And then, oh no. It's a little bit fast, I feel like. I should lower that speed. All right, then we drop it off. And it might be difficult to get other ones in here, but I gotta try it at least. All right, looks like we got another one over here. Oh boy, this is gonna be interesting. All right, there we go. And then just drop it on off in there. That is violent. I really need to fix that. And I don't know if I'll be able to carry another one inside the bed. The bed isn't quite as big as I thought it was going to be but I'll probably at least be able to carry it on the magnet. Just like that. Now if I try to put it, oh, that is very bad. All right, I made some adjustments. This is gonna give me hopefully a little bit more freedom when it comes to picking these things up. So let's see. All right, there we go with that. And then I go ahead and drop that. It's still faster than I want it to be, surprisingly. All right, now we got the second one in. So what I've done was I've changed the settings so that it's hold position rather than just holding down the button. So now as I press the button, you can see it'll stop wherever I stop pressing the button, which is really, really useful. So now this, if I move these all to the front there, I should be able to drop this one right there. There we go, it's, it, it, it's a little sketchy. It's a little sketchy, it might fall out, but let's see if we can take all of these back. All right, but it worked perfectly getting it here, so if it works, it works. All right, so I'm seeing an armored seat. It's up there, isn't it? You know, we're gonna have to fly up there real quick. But first, quick modification to this. I'm just gonna expand the whole thing by one on each side, so two total. All right, and that should give us a little bit more room. All right, let's see if we can find an armored seat right up here. Ah, yes, that's what I'm talking about. All right, but we are in a precarious position here, so let's see if I push it off. You know what? I'm just gonna run off here with it. I wonder if I can even pick this thing up to go into here. And then I'm glad I put all this weight on here, and... <laughs> Why did I... <laughs> I can just bang myself in the head and destroy myself. That is fantastic. Oh, I like this vehicle even more now. Very, very pretty sunrise to highlight the fact that we just nailed ourselves in the head so much we died. All right, and what happens if I try to just drop this in here? Eh, it almost fits. Yeah, it actually does kind of fit. All right, so you know what I'm going to do now? We can actually use this to hold it in here, just like that. And I'm going to go straight down with my thrusters. I'm gonna see if I can land right down there as, as best I can. All right, here goes nothing. Oh, this is gonna be, I'm gonna die, but at least the scrap will be down there. Oh, 
Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, I should have just kept it going. Wait, what? Did you... Did you see the scrap disappear? Okay, no, it's still down there, right? Wait, what? What happened? It says it's right here. It looks like we actually somehow made it disappear. I'm right on top of it. All right, well, that's annoying. I just reset the scrap. We're gonna have to fly back up and do that again. All right, well, let's see if this one goes any better. I don't think the scrap was supposed to disappear like that. I think we just glitched it somehow. So let's see if we can, uh, if we can get it. Um, oh, okay, here we go. Here we go, here we go, and look how close we got. <laughs> All right, well, it looks like it didn't disappear that time, so we should just be able to teleport down here and just pretty much push it in. And this is exactly why I put this bumper on the front of this vehicle. There we go. All right, so the armored seat means that now, if I was to actually jump off there like that, my armored seat would survive and I wouldn't actually die and have to re-teleport back up there. So, we are going to replace this seat with the armored seat. All right, I also took the liberty of adding just a little bit of aesthetic flair to it so it doesn't look like just the skeleton of a vehicle. All right, let's continue. We got two more on this particular island area that I can see, and then we have to go over to that tree area, and that's not gonna be particularly easy. And what is going on here? Do you see what I see? Why is that? Is that just constantly rolling down into the water? This is just constantly rolling down into the water. Okay then. We're gonna have to catch it when it spawns back up. Where do you spawn? Right there, all right. Where are you? Oh, oh, no, 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 no. Come back, come back. Oh. All right, well that was close. Where's this other one? I hope it's a small one. It is a small one. All right, so we got a power core here. This power core is gonna let us add another dragon engine to us. But can we lift this thing up and drop it in the back? All right, in, you know, I'm fine with that. We'll lift this one up and then we'll just go get that one and drag it behind us. There we go, perfect. I feel like I need a slightly longer bed. Grab this one and we can drag it on back with us. I like this vehicle. This vehicle's turning out pretty well, I think. Ooh, okay. Two more pieces down. Another power core locked in, which means another engine can be placed. So I don't know if you guys noticed, but I also did a little experiment here. I, after the suspension, I put 50 kilogram weights right at the base of the wheels, hoping that uh, I won't t have any issues with tipping over when carrying things and things like that. It's hopefully gonna keep my wheels nice and solid to the ground. So now here's an issue. Are we gonna be able to drive across this moat with this vehicle? I don't know. As long as my engines stay out of the water, I should be able to, but they're actually kind of low. And it looks like it is not going to work with the current setup. So what I'm gonna have to do for this area is move my engines. It's gonna be a quick solution. I just gotta move my engines up. So now we should be able to keep our power as we go across here. Yes, just barely actually, it almost wasn't enough. You know, I wonder, can we drive our way all the way over to this power core without any issue? I think we can. Fantastic, all right. Let's see if we can fit this thing inside of our bed. I know I really should have just made the bed bigger, but I didn't want to make my vehicle too difficult to maneuver. All right, well, this should be good. We should be able to hold control of this. I like how the arm also works as like uh, a trapper when I have the, something in the back like this that's not completely inside. It works really, really well. All right, come on, you can do it. Get through the water and up here for another power core, excellent. All right, so now we should be able to grab a couple of these smaller ones. Ooh, that big one over there. What am I gonna do about that big one? That one's gonna be a doozy. All right, let's go ahead and get this block. Perfect, that one's easy. Another nice and small one over here. There we go. All right, come on, settle down. Settle down in there. It's not settling down in there. Come on, just settle down. There's so much room, get down. Ugh, there we go, all right, it's settled. Oh, there's a big one over there. I think that's the spiked wheel. Let's ignore that for now. See if we can fit another one of these in here. 
All right, can I drop this in here and have it stay? And s oh no, you gotta be kidding me. There we go, look at that. We got three in here now, which means we can grab a fourth. There we go. All right, so it looks like I can really only fit three in the bed and then carry a fourth one, but there's a fifth one right here and I really just kind of want to try to see if I can get this one to settle down. All right. Ugh. You know what? That might be good enough. If I could just push it. Ugh. Just push it down. Come on. Just, oh. All right. You know what? That's probably not going to work very well, but I'm going to try to get all five of these. There we go. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? All right. So let's see if I can manage to get all these back without any of them falling out. Oh, these hills are not going to they're not going to make this easy, but hold on. If I use this to try to trap the other ones in there, that might help. All right, and get across the water. No problem. No problem. So five, I think, is the capacity of this, which isn't bad. Considering we only have one electromagnet and five salvage pieces if they're small, I think that's pretty impressive. All right, these are the last two small ones in this area, I think. So then we got the doozies, the big ones. All right, so I think we got most of the rounded pieces now. So let's see what we can do about this spiked wheel. And then I, oh, we got a couple pieces, large pontoon and small cannon. Those are gonna be tough. All right, yeah, this is definitely gonna be a little bit more uh, difficult, especially given the terrain right around here. I'm not gonna have much grip once I grab this thing. Let's see what we can do. As soon as I grab it, I'm gonna start boosting so it doesn't drag me down here. All right, go, 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 go. All right, oh no, 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 no. It's whipping me around. That's not good. All right, maybe not that much speed. Maybe nice and controlled. I'm glad I put 100 kilograms of weight in front of my uh, seat, so I was hoping that it would counteract being pulled by things like this. Let's see if we can get this all the way back without any issue. Oh, this is precarious. Precarious. Eh. Oh, man. It wants to fishtail me so bad. Oh, this hill is gonna be bad. This hill is gonna be really bad. It's just gonna drag us down sideways. I wanna get over to the shallow part though. All right, we're almost there, we're almost there. Yes, we're at the shallow part. We're good. All right, get some speed. There we go. Get up, come on, come on. Okay, that one actually wasn't bad at all. That was easier than I expected to be honest. Okay, so now let's get a view of what we're working with next. Is it shallow enough to drive this thing over to that big piece there? Or does the water get deep in between here and there? Well, let's see if my, can my engine stay out of the water? It's looking okay. I don't, I'm not gonna be able to use my thrust to help me in this particular part unless I move my thrust up as well, which I could do, but let's see how it goes. The water is going to be the tough part, but this might be possible to get this. But I am going to move this engine up here. I'm going to move this engine in front, this engine there, and then this engine right there. And that way we can actually use our boost across the water. All right, but the important thing is I want a nice and centered grab. So it's not going to be pulling me one side or the other. That looks pretty centered. I think I'm going to stick with that. Let's see what happens. Okay. Oh, boy. <laughs> Oh man, this ground, this traction, this mud is not doing me any favors. But it looks like I can use my thrust going across the water, so that's going to be a big help. And it's working. It's working. This, see, these wheels, I needed these wheels for so long to help me with traction and just a more beefy vehicle. And finally, in episode, what is this, five? Episode five, we have it. Oh, and we're doing the whole, we're doing the whole fishtailing thing. All right, but I think the hard part is over. I hope, unless I make any major mistakes. Pretty sure we just got shallow waters ahead of us. Oh, actually this hill might be the hard part. I didn't think about the hill. Now the thrusters are gonna take us through it. Yeah, the thrusters have the power. They've got the power. All right, I think it's ours. There's one final mode of water. Got to get through here. There we go. And small cannon. 
has been achieved. And it looks like all we have left is this large pontoon. Can we get across here using our vehicle? This looks like shallow water here. So this might be just as easy as the last one. Let's just hope that we can get across this area. Yep. We got this. This is a good vehicle. I like it. Thanks for your suggestions down below about making like a flatbed. I mean, and dragging the uh, the block behind us instead of pushing. Dragging is a much more effective, uh, effective, effective method. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What's happening here? Stop, 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 stop. All right, let's be a little bit more controlled about this, all right? There we go. All right, yeah, this one is easy mode compared to that last one. I'm glad this vehicle was tall enough to put the... Oh, no! I forgot. Forgot that that was there. You know what? No problem. We just got to convert this into the sub. I got to remember the sub... Wait, wait. Oh, it disappeared. Dang it. I didn't even need the sub. All right, well... That's slightly annoying. We're gonna have to be a little bit more mindful of where we are and uh, try this again. Oh, oh, come on, come on. All right, now remember, there's a pool of water right over here that I have to avoid. That lost us so much time. Whoa, are you kidding me? I almost fish tailed into it. All right, let's, maybe we should lower, lower our center of mass a little bit. Just a little bit, there we go. Whew. I thought this piece was going to be easy, but it gave us a little bit more trouble than I expected. All right, large pontoon is done. Okay, so what we have next is whatever's up here. And I think actually there's an, an additional area, which is that. We have a whole floating island area. So I'm probably going to save the floating island area for last. And we're gonna go over in that direction next. So let me know if you have any other advice for this, any other parts that I may have missed in the areas I've been or something like that, because I've only recently realized that these parts don't show up on the map just by flying over that area. You actually need to access the area, like this cave down here. That part didn't show up until I got into the cave. Thanks again for the amazing support on the series. Uh, this is one of the most successful series so far on the channel, and I can't wait to see what happens in the next episode. If you missed the previous episodes, go ahead and check them out right here. Hope this video has earned your subscribe Anyway, this has been Scrapman, and I'll see you next time. Bye.